I am Saltillo. Ich bin Saltillo. I am Saltillo. Eu sou Saltillo. I am Saltillo. Yo soy Saltillo. I think a greenfield plant gives you the opportunity to really start with a white paper on the table, to really start uh, from scratch. Out of 10 options, we've selected Saitio because of its automotive infrastructure, the available skills, the suitability of the land, and also the strong support of the local government. We have many advantages here due to geographic location. We're only 200 miles from the U.S. border and close to all our, uh, our suppliers, which are also located in the same general area. The Sartillo plant is a total of uh, 1,292,000 square feet and is built on a site that is a total of 740 acres. We were faced with building a lean benchmark plant in a record timeline. We went worldwide and we benchmarked the best lean practices. Overall, more than 20 facilities were being visited by, by different expert groups went through a number of those sites to see what kind of ideas that they had that might be solutions for what we were doing down here in Saltillo. We evaluate their process, we identify it, and we transfer the best practices. And we essentially stole with our eyes. We looked and created the best operating system we could for Saltillo. We're more interested in implementing many evolutionary changes in our processes rather than just a few revolutionary changes. In order to create uh, processes without barriers, we use the fishbone principle as a guideline in the planning work. It's definitely a benchmark principle to have material feeding in in a straight line approach where the major components are fed in a one piece flow to the main lines. Daimler sets the pace for innovative technologies um, with respect to their processes and their process engineering that help us to minimize our impact on the environment. The three main topics for the environmental team here in Saltillo have to do with climate protection, air pollution prevention, and conservation of natural resources. When talking about wastewater, we have um, two plants, one that is going to treat chemical wastewater and the other one, sanitary water, which would allow us to reuse the water in irrigation and sanitaries in general. We're reducing our dependency on forklifts, using uh, all electrical mobile equipment versus natural gas. We're putting forth a very aggressive program on returnable packaging. That should reduce the overall impact on the environment for both us and our suppliers. Environmental issues are as important as any production process. The Cascadia was launched as the truck of the future. As we now get ready to introduce the Cascadia into the Mexican market, this factory gives us that, that home base to supply the Mexican market as well as supply back into the U.S. and Canada. The three major project goals are achieve the timeline, that means start of production January 5th, 2009, be a lean benchmark plant, and stay within the defined project budget. It's um, been a great experience culturally as well as you know technically be able to bring this factory from nothing 25 months ago to now this great factory producing trucks for customers throughout North America. The result was only possible because of a global diverse project team which we brought together and they collaborated perfectly together. We tried to get the entire experience of Daimler trucks Japanese colleagues, Mexican, American, German colleagues. It was great to see how across nations, across cultures, across company cultures, this lean thinking really works. Early screening, hiring and training allows to develop the lean culture and skills among the workforce. Another concept we use is what we call basic skills training. We allow the employees to go through a week where they practice with the basic tools in each of the areas 
and then get familiar with those tools. Well, one of the unique things that we do at Saltillo to train our employees is that we use a, a lean simulation. We build trucks out of Legos. Oh, I just have to play with it. Oh, okay, that's easy. The last time I assembled one of these was kindergarten. This allows the employees to practice standardized work, to improve the processes, and understand where we're trying to go on the shop floor before they even hit the shop floor. We complete the three weeks of uh, all preparation for blue collars before they even go for a first day in the, in the shop floor. The training efforts that we're doing and the way they absorb the training efforts are uh, amazing. We build quality in station. We stop the line whenever a defect occurs. So you can see it in the plan, yeah. there are cords that the people pull, we call them anon cords. And then we have a team leader uh, to assist the person that uh, is, has anything out of standard, which can be a missing part, a process problem, etc., etc. They do feel responsible for every step during the whole process. Quality is our main activity right after safety. Their job produced that quality product the first time and every time. The relationships between management and the blue collar workers here in Saltillo is more team oriented, more team focused, more reporting from the bottom up instead of the top down. The ownership, the, the dedication, the loyalty is, um, is, is phenomenal here in, in Saltillo at the Dalmont Truck Club. They have passion and they have passion to do everything. They have passion for for the product, they have passion for the company, and they have passion also for this plant. This factory will be seen as the benchmark for truck manufacturing plants in the world, not only within Daimler, but within the truck manufacturing industry. I am Saltillo. 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 We are Daimler. <laughs>